Some antibiotic factors. Where did you go, Mazé? To get this. Ah, why? To discuss about the biotic factors of a farm. That there, like you, is a pest. What does it have to do with farming? Pests are very damaging to farms. They eat the crops, damaging the plant as a whole, are riddled with diseases that can transfer to the crops, and as a result, can increase the cost of producing crops, since you need to control them. I don't think you needed to throw a rat at me to prove your point. You are listening better now. Now, parasites are a certain type of pest that live inside or on the plant or animal. Plant parasites live on the plant while the ones living in the animal are called endoparasites. They include tapeworms, which absorb food from the animal's digestive tract. Ectoparasites live on the animal and suck blood from the animal, which increases their chances to get sick. How would they get sick? Ever hear of pathogens? I guess not. These are microorganisms such as bacteria, viruses and fungi that transmit diseases. While they reduce the quality and quantity of agricultural products, they are very important to know because they can cause death. Jeez, are there any good biotic factors? Uh, luckily, yes. Decomposers are a biotic factor that are important, especially in organic farming. These are microorganisms that break down animal manure, allowing soil to become fertile. They eat poop? Grow up. And yes, now predators can be useful on a farm because they will hunt and kill the pests. A house cat is a perfect example of this. Of course, a lion is the other extreme and uh, wouldn't be beneficial around a cow. That would be cool to see. Ooh, look at that butterfly, Mase. You are lucky. That is useful for our conversation or else I would smack you for being distracted. Now, butterflies and bees are examples of pollinators. They transmit pollen grains from one flower to the next. Cross-pollination helps in production of new and improved crops. Any other ones before we're done? Just la one last one. Nitrogen-fixing bacteria. These are useful bacteria that are found in the roots of the plant. They convert nitrogen from the air into nitrates. When the bacteria dies, the nitrate is released into the soil and helps make the soil more fertile and ready for the next season. Mase, it looks like it's gonna rain. We better get going. Plus, I finished my Fanta a long time ago. Ah, you can't control the climate, which leads me into my next discussion. Mase! Okay, fine, let's go.